Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. Let's talk about bad decisions. So currently the Biden administration is pushing this idea of uh, vaccine passports. Basically the idea being that you're gonna get this uh, vaccine for coronavirus and then you'll get a piece of paper or a barcode on your phone or whatever, some kind of official government documentation that says that you've been vaccinated. And then this will allow you access to airplanes and boats and trains and automobiles and whatever, right? So you can, you can travel, travel freely uh, because you can prove your vaccination status. This is a horrible, horrible idea and it's impossible to underestimate how entirely bad of an idea this is. Uh, so we're gonna go through a couple of the problems. Number one, it's fear-driven. It's a fear-driven agenda. Decisions made out of fear are rarely, if ever, a good idea. Uh, it reminds me of kind of when we passed the Patriot Act in this country, which was an egregious violation of our rights and which we paid for for years. Uh, bad idea, bad idea. So you cannot make public policy based on fear. You cannot make public policy based on people being afraid. If you are too afraid to leave your house because you don't know who's vaccinated and who's not and you're afraid to get on an airplane or whatever, that's on you. If you want to live the rest of your life in a fear cocoon, that's of course your decision. But the idea that the government needs to mandate procedures so that you feel safe is insane. Nobody can legislate your feelings. That, that's impossible to do. And no matter how many laws you would pass or how many certificates you would enforce or whatever, people are still going to feel things. That's, that's just impossible. We cannot make enough laws to make sure everybody feels safe. It's also why gun control doesn't work. You're, you're unable to do enough for those people so that they would finally feel safe. So again, we don't make public policy based on fear. That's a, that's a poor life choice. Number two, uh, this bill is of course anti-freedom. It flies in the face of being an American. Uh, I, don't, I can't believe I have to say that, but the idea that you couldn't live, uh, have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that you couldn't have that until you had a government mandated piece of paper that allows you to travel and do your everyday life is insane. That is the absolute antithesis to the entire point of this nation. We did not found a nation so that the government can tell us where we can and can't go, or that we have to meet some arbitrary moving goalpost requirement so that we're allowed to do what we want and live our lives. Oh, well, I'd love to go over to such and such a state in Kansas, but I can't go there because I don't have my vaccine passport. Uh, how, how does that sound like America to anybody? The founding fathers would not just be rolling over in their graves, they'd be blowing shit up at this point. This is insane. It is the absolute opposite of what America is. Number three, this thing is about control. Uh, obviously this is about control. I understand that there are a lot of useful idiots out there who are just afraid and who are like, oh yeah, that sounds like a good idea, then we can be safe again. But the, the people that are pushing this want to control your lives. They want to tell you where you can and can't go, what you can and can't do, because they know better than you or at least that's what they think. They think that they know how society should be ordered, and if we can just restructure this based around them who know more than you, then we'll all be better off. It is a communist group mentality that suppresses and crushes individual choice, decisions, and direction in favor of what's better for everybody. It's like utilitarianism run amok. Number four, forced vaccinations are a bad idea. Anytime we're going to allow the government to force something to inject it into your body is, an, again, an egregious violation of your personal sovereignty. That's an insane idea. I realize that in the past in this country, judges have ordered forced vaccinations. And believe me, it was just as insane and wrong then as it is now. Okay, That should be 1,000% illegal, and that is certainly a line in the sand. And the idea of a vaccination passport is really no different than, than forced vaccinations. Because at the end of the day, what you're saying is these people won't be allowed in society. They won't be able to participate in a certain chunk of normal life 
until they get the vaccine. That, that's a coerced forced vaccination. Uh, it might not be a vaccination van rolling up to your house and dragging you outside, kicking and screaming, and then sticking a syringe in your neck, but it's one step removed. And, and they're essentially the same thing. The end result is the same. They are forcing you, they are twisting your arm in order to get you to comply. I personally don't wanna live in a society where we set the precedent that the government is allowed to force inject you with things at their leisure. Again, that can go terrible places. Which leads me to point number five, and I can't believe I even have to say this, but apparently people aren't that foresightful. If you think that this would just stop with coronavirus, you are absolutely out of your mind. The idea that the government will ever just stop with one thing is insane. And I don't care who's in control, if it's a Republican or if it's a Democrat or if it's an other, it doesn't matter. Because once we set the precedent that you have to have your papers before you can travel or go places or live your life, then of course the requirements that are in that piece of paper that you have to have are only ever going to grow. That why wouldn't they? Why would there be any reason? You are removing the entire idea of checks and balances from government control. You're setting up an arbitrary piece of paper that's gonna be run by bureaucrats that will add and remove requirements at will so that you can or can't do your life at will. Now you could say, Dylan, I mean, how do you know that? That's just insane. I mean, you're, you're a crazy conspiracy theorist. Well, we already do this with the ATF. The ATF uh, randomly adds and removes requirements from what is considered a firearm or isn't considered a firearm or what is fully automatic or what isn't. The ATF is a quintessential example of a bureaucratic organization nestled under the executive branch that runs amok and just tramples over its authority and does things that it's not legally allowed to do all the time. So why would we take that little microcosm of experiments and expand that to the rest of society. What about that could possibly be good? Uh, people have made the comparison, I'm certainly not the first one, but in Germany in the 30s, they registered Jews. They made people wear yellow stars to signify their status, and they caused apartheid, right? They, they, strat they stratified a society with the subhumans, and that's what they called them. They called them subhumans. The other, right, the, the people that aren't part of normal society, and they're not allowed to shop certain ways, and they're not allowed to do certain things or whatever, because of who they are and the choices they make, and then the rest of nice, polite Aryan society. And that is, of course, horrible, but that's what's going on here. It's, it's the same thing. All you have to do is take out the word Jew and put in the word uh, unvaccinated and you've got the same apartheid going on. So if somehow you think that's about unity or that's about bringing America together or that's what's really going to get us through the hard times, you have lost your mind. This will not stop with a simple COVID vaccination card. That would grow and grow and grow until you're not allowed to be involved in society until you meet this long list of requirements. That's how it works. If this isn't a hill to die on for you, then there are no hills left to die on. If, if this isn't something that you're like, we need to draw the line and this is a hard no, this is a hard pass, then, then again, there's nothing left to draw the line on. There's, there's nothing left to fight for. America is over. We should all just pack up and go home and let the communists tell us what to do. This is it. The, 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 there's, there's nothing left to not fight for here. If this actually goes anywhere, this is the end, the absolute end of freedom in America. Do brave deeds and endure.